Alrighty folks, welcome back to the stream. Today we're going to do something new. We're going to do a little Sunday fun day. Um, I put some of my top favorite games on the uh, wheel and we're going to spin it and see what we play for an hour. Just to relax on this rainy Sunday. Um, but yeah, hope you're all having a great day and let's spin to win as they say. And here we go. So we have Hogwarts, Animal Crossing, Smash Bros. Uh, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Subnautica, Graveyard Keeper, and Stardew Valley. Let's spin to win. Alrighty, so we have Hogwarts. And we can do best two out of three. And then if anybody's in the Twitch chat of those three, you can vote. If not, I'll pick. Ooh, Stardew, a classic. And so we have Stardew and Hogwarts. And Hogwarts again. Hmm, I think Hogwarts might win it. But, um, yeah, yeah, let's uh, kind of see what's going on there. But um, overall, let's switch us to gameplay and we'll be good to go. Um, Oh, with this rainy day vibe, I really am feeling Stardew Valley over Hogwarts. Because we played a lot of Hogwarts too on uh, the channel. We played a lot of Subnautica and a lot of Mario Kart. So let's do Stardew. Why not? And they just had like the new big update. So that'll be um, cool to see if we can get into any new stuff. Um, do I make a new one and start from scratch? I think I should, because we have um, my previous one that I named Beer Ranch, um, but we'll kind of, we'll see, we'll see. So I think I might, yeah, maybe I'll start new, start fresh. Alrighty, so we're going to do a new one, I think, and let's do something different. Um, okay, so we have the standard farm, which I think our first one is, Riverland, Forest, Hilltop, Wilderness Farm, Four Corners, Perfect Group, and then Beach One. Is the Beach One new? Hmm. Regulars don't work, which that's always a pain. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know, no one's in chat yet. Oh, we have one viewer in chat. Hello and welcome. Um, what are we thinking? Do we want to do a beach farm? Do we want to do four corners? The wilderness one with uh, lots of monsters. Hilltop, forest. I already did standard, so I think we'll remove for that. Let's try to do something new. Um, so if you want to put in the chat what you're thinking, I'm thinking because it's summertime, the beach vibe might be good. Uh, a good challenge could be the monster-filled one, the wilderness, and, hmm, rocky train could be good, you know? Yeah, it could be interesting, could be interesting for sure. Uh, but while we think about that, let's, um, pick our character. Oh, we could do the one where it, uh, it, when you name yourself, it spawns different things. So, what? so I think that could be cool. So we need an item ID. Let's see. Let's see. What are we thinking? A good item ID for a nice little boost. Like, if we do Monster Farm, that could be a good one. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So we have the basic items are high value, so we can name ourselves bracket 30 for lumber, bracket 60 for emerald, and so much more. Bracket 73 for golden walnut, but that won't really be good until later on, you know? Um, let's see, let's see. But, but, um, but yeah, let's... Hmm. Let's do... Prismatic Shard could be good. Or Lumber. Honestly, I think Lumber might be good to spawn that. So we gotta name ourselves Bracket 30. Let's see. And yeah, we're playing on the Switch. Something like that. Oh, no, no, we need to go back. Bracket 30. Okay. Farm name. I don't know what we're we thinking. What are we thinking? Um, maybe we'll do Monster Hut. And we'll do with the dark one. Monster and. And then you have the basic name for, oh, it doesn't do the bracket though anymore. What? Where do the brackets go? Unless it gets rid of it, then that would be interesting. It would probably just mean that we can't do it. Eh. We can name it 30. Sure, we look like Linus if we want. There we go. The black box, cool. Alrighty, um, we kind of got that favorite thing. Okay, that's just perfect. Um, animal preference. We got a dog last time. Maybe a cool cat would be good, especially with all the monsters out. Um, favorite thing, I don't know. Chat, what should we put? Let's put Concerned Ape, because we love the, the guy who made this game. And again, like, I love his story. Like, again, um, I think it was around the American Recession in 2007, 2008. And he was a software engineer and couldn't get a job. So then he just started working on every element of game design and made this game in, like, five years by himself. And then he just released his, uh, a couple months ago, his, like, last update for the game. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, okay, so we have all that. Uh, are we thinking monster? Yeah, it might be a little frustrating, but might as well. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of debating on it. But it, I mean, it'd be good for like spooky season, you know. Um, and yeah, we could just try something new. And then, I don't know if I really want to named myself 30 and then have nothing spawn. <laughs> let's see, let's see.
anything good that we can do. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna do, okay, well one, yeah, we got the wilderness one. Okay, no, we don't want that. We wanna go up. Come on. All right, let's see. Up, 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 and so let's do, oh, come on now. We'll do bracket 30 for lumber. We'll do another bracket for, because uh, it's spooky season, pumpkin soup, which is uh, 236. And so that would be cool. And, oh, let's do the espresso, triple shot espresso, because we We'll need the energy and we can run faster let's see anything else that might be good <laughs> oh maybe some gold ore let's see that and gold ore will be three uh, 384. Let's see, anything else we can think of? Anything random? Um, ooh, coffee bean might be good too. So let's do, so we could just keep making more on our own. Because those things just, they grow like weeds, it's awesome. Let's see, let's see, anything else? Ooh, ancient scenes? Sure. I'm not too sure if there's a limit on how much can be spawned, but <clears throat> might as well do it. Uh, I want to see if I could spawn a good tool to start off, too. The item list is insane. There's so many out there. But I think these buffs might be good. seen anything else I think a warp tonum might be good but uh, not really too sure what we're thinking what else might be good Kind of a slow start, but you know we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yeah, only 15 minutes, and that's fine. Oh, and I just read too that it might uh, it might have been patched out already. So we'll just have a stupid name, but that's fine, that's fine. Hmm. 
Hmm, let's see. Yeah, honestly, we'll just stick with that. I think that's good. Um, okay. Let's get our game on. A little disappointing, I mean, it looks like the exact same farm as the standard one, but, um, it is what it is. And if I need to, I can just start a new one and do, like, the beach one, so, all good.
Alrighty, so if you're new, new to the game, we basically have to plant with these tools, and each tool does different things. Um, I don't think the cheat worked, so that's unfortunate. Uh, in order to get more items based on the item name. But yeah, and we're going to lose energy with each time uh, that we do something. So here's this, and we have a watering can. So let's harvest these things first, and then we'll be able to plant and water as much as we want. But we just got to organize first. And then the closer the weeds are, the more damage that they can do to your crops, and you lose them, and then you need to get like a scarecrow too to scare off birds, because it all depends on luck. So we're going to check the fortune teller every day uh, to be able to see. Oh, that's right, I don't, because this is not upgraded, I cannot uh, do multiple things of uh, any of that. And right now we are low on money, which we'll need to get um, everything. Oh. Like seeds, uh, item upgrades, stuff like that. But overall, let's check out the map, though, if we can. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks just like the standard farm, but I guess we now have monsters, but that'll be good because we need just a sword, and then we'll be able to fend them off. Or we can probably hit them with some other stuff, but it, it won't be as um, useful, I'd say. Jeez, I forgot how many wax this thing takes with a standard axe, so that's uh, no fun. Alright, so we got some stuff. Now let's make a chest. Okay, there's crafting chest. Oh, we need a lot more wood, never mind. Okay, 50 wood. So we'll start with that so we can be organized. some in the, into the lake it goes, or a little pond. A little frog guy goes, perfect, cool, cool, cool. And then yeah, like each day in this game is about 15 minutes, so we just gotta remember that. And our inventory is almost full, so... Stuff, unless we can forge it, and then we can make the one recipe for like the bars and oats and stuff. But we have not forged anything yet. Alright, just enough to make a chest. And I think everything needs to be like inside, like chests and stuff, or they might despawn. I think we'll put that there. Alrighty, perfect. I think we should just plant everything right now, just to be able to, um, kind of like, I, I guess, get the most out of it in our money-wise, but that's pretty much it. Perfect. Now we can plant some more, I'll probably want to get rid of that rock. And then, yeah, dang, our energy bar is going down. But normally, yeah, with this game, like, um, Probably try to hit the mines on a day that we are lucky, so then we get more item drops and everything like that. So, and then when you go past, oh, here we go, we can forge some stuff now. When you go past um, your energy bar and you use it all up, your character travels slower and everything else. Which an espresso, the triple espresso shot would have been awesome to spawn in right now, but not yet. But maybe we can check the next morning. But I did see some articles that said, like, in the newest update on console versions, it, the item spawn got uh, patched out unless it's on PC. So. Okay. No quest for help wanted. And calendars show birthdays so we can build friendship levels. And we have the egg festival coming up right away in the spring. And then the flower dance. So that will be pretty good. I think a bean starter would be great. Kind of like one of each might be good. Uh, ooh, a 
tree would be good, but we don't have that kind of money. More beans. Because at least those will like keep growing. So yeah, I think we'll dump it into that. Maybe one more potato and that's it. Alrighty. I'm gonna get sell items in the box. I think a backpack would be good too. But let's go back and plant this. Check out if we can harvest anything on this other side. Well, I think, too, it, it would have been better to do that beach one, because at least it's something completely different versus the standard layout. But it is what it is, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but yeah, the nostalgia is starting a new farm again. It's a great game, though, and, like, uh, especially in my university days, I wanted a 15-minute brain break. You would just do one day on here, and you'd be good to go. Time to find the path of least resistance. And then, yeah, here we can get wheat from there, which is always fun. But we are low on the energy. Let's see, is there anything else I could craft at this time? Nope, we have like no recipes whatsoever. so far, but, uh, yeah, I kind of don't want to go into the mine unless I got, like, a plan and plenty of energy, but that's fine. But there is a lot to do in the game, but at least it's still faster. Like, I love Graveyard Keeper as well, very Stardew Valley-esque, but it's, like, um, it's a lot slower pace of a game, so 40 energy might be good. Yeah, let's, we got time. Let's go check out the mines before the monsters hit. some ore and some stone, but overall, um, I don't think it's going to produce much for us at this time. That's the community center, we'll have to like drop stuff off and finish and fill out pretty much everything, so, but I think that took me... 30 in-game days when I was first doing it and I wasn't too worried about it. But yeah, I'll have to do, I think I did a one tour video already before of my beer ranch garden, uh, or stardew file. And uh, I got a good amount there, it's a bit messy, but oh dang, the cave is not open yet, or the mine I guess. I kind of forget a lot about what's open and what's not. to get a sword too to fend off the monsters, but uh, if that's the case and we can't go into the mine to get more items, let's go down to the beach, because there's always like good stuff to forge through there. Oh, the good old Jojo Mart. I think that's what we'll have to do. We might uh, last time I shut them down, but I think this time maybe I'll I'll go for them and do that. I was gonna say that these seem more expensive than the other ones, so I think we made the right move of buying through the local place. Also, I never spent time really developing the relationships with the characters. Um, or, yeah, like dialogue and relationships with the characters uh, in my first game. So, I think maybe this game we might do that and uh, be a bit more chill. But 
kind of depends if I want to do another Stardew Valley playthrough or if we'll just keep this as a Sunday fun day random spin, you know? Alrighty. There we go. We can get some good clams here harvested. Well, a fishing rod is probably more than 70. Oh, I gotta build this too. What is, how much is that? 300 pieces of wood. Okay. And there's some good stuff to forge on that side, so it'll be worth the wood investment. So I think that's what we'll do this evening in game, is just keep going through. Oh, I don't remember this trash can being there. But it doesn't do much. Okay, so we kind of got a tour of everything going on here. Not too much excitement. I was going to say, I don't want to get a bad reputation and check trash cans in front of people. Because then they'll like freak out. But sometimes you can have some good finds, especially if you have a, a luck boost on a good day. Alright, he's leaving. Great. Okay, dodge that one. Okay. Nothing on the trash cans. Normally I was thinking something good might spawn, but I guess not. I think we'll keep the five forge things for food for the next day, or even this evening, and then we'll go sell the one clam thing just to get our money up a bit. Alrighty, let's uh, chop some stuff. See, right here's the sluggishness, so I'm out of energy, and then when I wake up but the next day, I'm pretty sure it will just make me not regain all the energy needed, so let's do a leak for some energy, and still with the sluggish, so I think I kind of messed us up, and we will not be able to regain full energy amounts starting tomorrow. That's fine, you know, it's, it's a chill playthrough, it's not no speedrun, you know. I wish that item spawn trick would have worked, but I guess not. Alrighty, pretty successful, we have a lot of stuff planted. Let's uh, empty our pockets, pretty much. But I really want the... There's like a wilderness bar that you could build with stuff, so... But as of right now, we don't really have much. Torches could be good at night. But that's kind of about it. Alrighty, let's call it a date. Let's see if there's any messages for the night. Oh, okay, there we go. Forging's up. So we have proficiency with our axe, and sometimes they drop seeds. Great. Wild seeds, that's also perfect. And a field snack. That's exactly what we needed to keep our energy up. And we have 50 more gold of in-game currency, so that's also a, a plus for day one. It's not bad. Oh, energy is at full. Perfect. Let's see what we need to make. Field snack. Acorn, maple seed, pine cone. And I don't think we have any of that. Nope. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Wild seeds. 
course runs. We have leaks, dandelion daffodil. We have, yep. So maybe I'll keep one in there. Perfect. Oh, we should check our overall um, luck today. Okay, that's the, that's not good. Okay, so maybe not the mine. Maybe more monsters will spawn, and it won't be good. Okay, tomorrow's gonna rain all day, so we don't have to worry about watering. Perfect. Let's see what we got in the mail. Okay, I think Willie's gonna have our fishing rod, which maybe we can invest in. I, I never fished as much, but I heard it's good for overall, um, like, energy-wise. You can get a lot of good money and uh, overall resources and fish by doing a lot more fishing. chat with Willie first thing, and then we could spend the rest of the time foraging. Perfect. Okay, great. And we'll need these guys for sure. And one more daffodil doesn't hurt, so we can make more wild seeds. Perfect, perfect. I think we'll stop by Willie first, and then we will do... Oh, it doesn't open till 9. I don't think Pierre's does either. Okay, still locked. Trash cans are empty. But also with a, a low look, it's probably not the best either. Just doing some chill fishing, you know. Um, I did hear though they said uh, in one of like the playthrough tips that your first fish you catch you should wait because you have a higher chance of like getting a legendary fish or stuff like that. So, but overall, like yeah, even though our, our luck is bad so far, so we won't get a legendary fish or anything, we are still getting uh, some good catches so far. So. Great, and what are we getting here? Okay, geode and bait. So we'll have to throw something out. Oh man, probably do the daffodil, and then we'll keep the bait. And then now let's eat something. Or you take the geode to the blacksmith, he'll probably be able to do some of that. Uh, herring and sardines, so let's eat the herring, I guess. 
because again we'll need that backpack too. Let's do one more fish cast and then we can fish the rest in our pond. So that way we can put more stuff in the chest and then sell later. Damn, we are really hitting those boxes good. Oh, come on now. More bait. Perfect. Alrighty. Now let's go to... Oh, who are you, buddy? Alrighty, once it hits 10 o'clock, we'll go head to the blacksmith. But I'm hoping and then that way he can crack open these geos and give us either some ore or something, but... We are going to find out. Come on, man. Alright, cool. Four sardines, that'll be some good energy for... A lot of things, so that's good. But let's go crack open these geodes and hope for the best. I think, we'll, yeah, let's eat that in case there's two different types of ores that we'll get from the blacksmith. But also, I don't know if we have the money because I, I don't know if it was 50 gold or 100 to crack open the geodes. Okay, so we could shop. We don't really have the money for any of that, but we could process geodes. Oh, 25, that's perfect. Okay, stone. Give me some, like, copper or something. Limestone. But that might be good to be able to... Uh, tools. Yeah, we needed a lot of ore, so we've got to hit that mine soon, but I don't know when it'll be open. Because I didn't refresh on the lower page. But here's the museum. Alrighty, so we're meeting new people, and I made the error of giving them uh, rocks, which are not their preferred gifts. And every time you give them something, you give uh, every time you give them something that they like, your like friendship level gets boosted, especially on their birthdays. And then every time you give them um, something they don't like, like a rock, which I don't think anybody really likes, uh, it kind of ruins your chances. But I'm already at like a net zero with these people, so I think it's fine. Let's go check it out. There's no help wanted, so that's not good, but 
we can still meet people. And Abigail, who I think we'll make. Because you can marry people too in this game. Maybe I'll do that. And then let's meet all these people. Oh, that's kind of passive aggressive. So, yeah, she sells livestock. So when we get stuff built and we need animals, at least in this run, we will have to. Uh, go to her to buy all the animals and such. So, pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't really met everyone. But yeah, we get rewards for like progressing to the game and stuff, which is always clutch. And then, yeah, we'll need, we'll need a lot more to get more storage. But, let's grow some stuff. So, you have 300. I think beans would be a good investment again. Oops, not really, but I think we'll just keep doing beans. Alrighty, so we got a full inventory. Let's do some more foraging and fishing, and then that should be good. And then, yeah, I think we will need to save up money for the extra storage, and that way we can spend a longer time in the mines, and then just keep harvesting more and more things. So, yeah. But overall, it's, it's slow the first few days, because just, that's just how it is. Oh, inventory's full, so yeah, let's drop off the bait, which we'll then put into other things. Stone we'll put there. Uh, we'll keep that outside. Yeah, we'll keep all these. Same over here. Nope, not there. Okay, and one, two, three. They also have a pretty cool Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley uh, mug that I think I might get one day, but also it's like, oh, do I really need any more mugs, you know? Alrighty, with all this energy we have, let's chop some wood and get more seeds. Especially because we want to get all that out of the way, especially with bad luck, we do not need to lose crops that we invested in. We need some ROI, as they say, or return on investment. Um, let's put you here. So I don't necessarily, like, yeah, I could sell for cheap money and uh, all these resources, but we kind of want to stockpile them because you're going to need a lot to add upgrades to your farm as well as, like, get more things. So, ooh, coal we will need. So let's drop off some of this. And go from there. Uh, let's drop off that for now, just so that we can have more storage while we just forge. And I think we can probably forge until our energy levels drop and then go from there. But coal is good because we're going to need it for when we're smelting stuff. But I think we got to break more rocks in order to get up to unlocking the recipe of um, a furnace for everything, so. so let's go break some more rocks. Cool, cool. And then this part will come eventually, but this is where we will either get to pick a fruit bat that will leave all this fruit here for us or um, the scientist guy and do a bunch of mushrooms 
and I did mushrooms last time. I think it's a good solid like starting resource for. Um, great, yep, yeah, we already did that. So, um, but it's a great solid like starting resource and like making money. But I think the fruit bed overall is good because then I can uh, get more fruits, put them into like a seed creator, and then that way they'll be able to. Um, you know, we can plant them and everything, so I think we'll go with the fruit bed. Oh, no, we want to keep breaking rocks. And then we can hit that acorn. Oh, no. Okay, we'll come back for that one. Let's just break some more rocks. Hopefully, I don't know, what do we need to break, like 50 or something? I don't know. And then we'll go eat one of the herring, I think. Check on our overall energy. We have 13, so yeah, we'll definitely need to eat something. I was gonna say, do I have enough for the field snack? I don't think so. Oh, actually, I might. Okay, let's see. Do we have pine cone? No, we don't. Herring. Let's eat it. Or the sardine, actually. So that did nothing. I think you just eat all these. Wait, let's grab the bamboo. Almost forgot. Bamboo. So we can go fishing and spend the rest of the evening fishing for low energy. But I think in the pond that we have right here, that's gonna lead to us harvesting a lot more trash. And not as useful things until we can get like the was it the recycling bin or something. So let's eat that. Oh, I know how to get a pine cone. We just gotta find a pine tree, which normally I think are more sparse. Like this one right here, that'll work good. And then we can load up on the field snacks. Hopefully that's enough energy, and let's not waste any wax, and just go from here. Oh, every wax is too good to know. Let me do a more mathematical approach. Okay, we have one of those. Perfect. So now we can fish at night. But then the monsters will spawn, so then we got to watch out for that. Oh, come on now. Oh, there he is. Is this gonna... Okay, one damage versus... What would this do to him? One. Alrighty, let's just keep whacking. But maybe he could drop something good for us. That is a lot of hits. Alrighty, just drops fiber. That's good, though. It looks like it doesn't take any energy, at least from us. So... We got more fiber, let's keep, I guess, hunting them. And then we might need, hold on, we can use these to make the field bar, or field snack. Okay, perfect. Now let's go hunting. Hopefully we can get some good drops, but, okay, here's a good bat. If we defeated enough monsters, I think we'll be able to uh, get like another achievement, and it'll be like, oh yeah, you're getting, you get this now, or you unlock this thing. I don't want to kick him back too far, and then all of a sudden he's like, his item doesn't drop, and we don't have like the rings or the boosts to be able to absorb stuff. Okay, Batwing. I think it's useful for later on in game, but uh, that's about it. Black some more weeds, another, was it a zombie or a rat or something? But also our luck's bad, so I bet they'll, I doubt they'll drop any like rare items for us or anything, so kind of is what it is. 
But yeah, Sunday fun day. So I, I hope like every Sunday we could just keep doing this and then um, be able to enjoy kind of just like uh, random games and either continuing to play through or starting a new one. I think if, if it like if we want a uh, Hogwarts Legacy, we'd probably just um, continue on because restarting wouldn't really make too much sense. And then if it did like Mario Kart or Animal Crossing, same thing, because you can't do another island file on Animal Crossing. It's kind of like a one per console kind of thing. But yeah. So, just dropped coal and some rice shoots. Oh, yeah, but uh, let's see. Can we plant it in the spring? Uh, plant it in the spring. That's what we're in now. Perfect. Okay, let's drop that off. Um, I think we have everything we need to plant. So, let's plant. Alright. Oh, okay. I guess that'll work. Let's put that one there, and then we'll do one more here. Yeah, then also I think your guy passes out at like, what was it, 1 a.m., 2 a.m.? Either way, we're not going to be doing that yet. Now, I was kind of thinking back, I haven't played Stardew in a hot minute, but it's, uh, it's nice to be back for sure. Oh, we got a slime, okay. sword on the switch you could uh, hit uh, there we go we got a slime uh, you can normally hit them okay yeah 2 a.m. is when he passes out so let's just get back before he pass out because they'll charge you like a fine and everything okay we'll plant one more mix seed we can put on the side I think okay and then plant and water okay that's fine, I'm starting to feel exhausted. I guess we'll save fishing for another day, but hopefully we fished enough to get an achievement, but we'll see. And it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, so we can save energy, which I love. Dang, okay, no achievements, but let's check our luck. Fortune teller. Sweet, alrighty. So maybe if we hit the mine that would be good, but forging overall I think that would be perfectly fine as well. Let's see what do we get. Yeah, the backpack's good, but we currently have no money, so that will not work out too well. Hmm. And I gotta see too, when is the mine open? Okay, so we need to harvest that, but I think that takes a few days. And then we gotta meet more people. <laughs> so it looks like on the fifth day is when the mine will open, so let's not waste our time trying to explore over there. I think we should grab some fish, and then we can sell them, and then we can sell these too, and then invest in more things. Out of order, yes, yeah, so we gotta fix the minecarts so we can travel around faster, uh, fix the bus, and I think Pam, the alcoholic, drives it, which is always interesting. And then, yeah, go from there. Let's see if there's any good foraging stuff up here. Sometimes it'll spawn, sometimes it won't. And then it's like always a hike, but if you go to the very north of the map, uh, right here, right here, there's like this like sauna thing, and then when you wait in the water, it refills all your energy, but it's like, well, you already waste like an hour and a half in-game, so it's not the best move. Let's see. 
Largemouth bass. It's not too good. Emily. Oh, yeah. Let's try to get a, a bass then. Oh, yeah. We didn't sleep too well, so I don't think uh, we'll be having too much energy. Alright, that was about a. I think that was eight points of energy that it cost per cast versus zero when I'm using the scythe, so not the best move. And then it has two to chop wood, so. Oh boy, here we go. Cool. Smallmouth bass, we need a large one though. Okay, we'll probably spend another 10 so minutes, 15, uh, on stream, so at least we can get to the third day in-game, or I guess technically fourth, but there's not much you do besides meeting people and getting started on your first day, so, oh, jeez. Bass. Nope, catfish. Alright. We've been catfished. You just got coconut mauled. Here we go. Oh, we should have brought the geode over too so that we, we can have Willy. Oh no, we can't have Willy. Well, it's not Willy, but um, we, need a, we need 25 gold to crack a geode, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about the. Uh, oh, okay, maybe we can get it. Come on. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, new record, and let's get some good resources. Or not. Perfect. <laughs> I forgot exactly, I didn't read up on the wiki, but um, where exactly you can get a largemouth bass from. But I assume in one of the rivers it's not going to be in the ocean, because that's where the ocean ones are. Mm -hmm. But you never know. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I think I'll take a, a lunch, brunch break. And then I'll be back to stream again this evening. And we'll do another Sunday fun day roll. Okay. Not what we needed, but that's fine. Let's go check in on Willie, and then we'll be able to go from there. Because then maybe he can sell some stuff. So we could sell him the fish. Um, dang it, he doesn't have the uh, the stuff we need yet. So let's sell him these. So we'll keep that one. Uh, 62 versus 100 each. 200 catfish will do. And yeah, we'll do that because we're pretty decent on energy right now. So 360. Let's go just keep fishing and selling, and then maybe we can stop at the shop. So I think we'll do this for like maybe two in-game hours, and then that way we can get some good achievements, hopefully. Even though I think I should just be selling these, or not selling them, but donating the, to the town hall, but I don't foresee really doing that right now just because I, uh, I really need the money. Some nice chill rainy day vibes because it's also raining where I am, so mm -hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, seaweed, but maybe we'll keep that for something else. Let's sell these to them. 
Okay, we are almost a quarter of the way to being able to buy the backpack for more stuff, so that's good. At least seaweed we can eat and get energy back. The last thing I need is like any trash right now. Oh, and then of course we can eat the field snack too. To be able to boost energy if we get too low. After maybe two more catches, we'll then do one more on the river. Hope to get that largemouth bass and to get some good money from it. No, no. That was a waste because we need to sell. Because we have very little inventory space. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's like same in like when I'm playing Subnautica or other games like that. I'm like, oh, what is that noise? Something's in the distance. Alrighty, let's just sell this one. Call it a day. And then we'll eat the... Eat the field snack. Get us some energy back. Okay, almost halfway. And now we will venture back up to... Well, first, let's check how much is in that 13 energy five health, okay. Which will kind of just, like, get us back one cast. Let's cast another line, and hope to get that large mouth bass to give to Emily. And if not, we're just going to go sell our profits um, for seeds. And buy those up and keep planting, and yeah. And then we can do some forging at the end. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Come on, Adam, come on. Lost it. First loss of a fish. That was probably a catfish because those really jump up and down when it comes to it. Smallmouth bass, which is fine. Um, we need Alrighty, let's go see if he's open. Oh, I've closed on Wednesday, so we can't even go to Pierre's. Dang it. Um, let's go fish in our own pond and do some harvesting or foraging, I guess you could call it. first monster came out I think at like six so yeah good to know we're gonna keep the fish in here now let's get the cast in and let's watch our energy too that we didn't need, but it's fine. Sometimes you can get lucky too, and you can get a uh, Joja can, which gives you a good amount of energy, and it's better than paying for it. And I think they sell for a good amount too, if you're able to sell them. 
Okay. Let's do one more cast, and then we're going to, if we catch a fish. If not, we'll do another. And then we're going to go do some foraging. fish please something useful come on now come on come on come on, come on. Come on we got a lot riding on this there we go. Okay, now a chub and what's in the chest? More bait already. And that'll be good for our, uh, if we can get the recipe for like the thing or get it from Willy after a certain amount of time fishing, you're then able to um, pretty much craft it. And what you can do is like fill it with bait and then it'll catch fish or the random recycled trash too. It's like normally the dog bowl up there, but because we're getting a cat, I forget which day your pet arrives, but um, yeah, I don't know where the cat will be, but I doubt it'd be, uh, it might be an outdoor cat too. Wait, did it take energy to cut through that? No. And yeah, I guess some more about Concerned Ape. He um, made this game because he wanted to... Um, wow, one left. I guess we'll just go plow through. But he wanted this game to be a better version of Harvest Moon. And I think back in the day, maybe on the GameCube, I believe I played Harvest Moon. And I think this, this definitely is. Like, Harvest Moon could be appreciated in its own right. But I think this is definitely a more versatile and friendly game than Harvest Moon, so. Okay, feeling sluggish and exhausted, which is fine. We're gonna wrap up before any monsters can spawn and get us. Slowly but surely make our way back to the house, and then we'll call it a, a game session. A nice hour 15, even though we definitely wasted the first 15 minutes trying to decide and make our character. But it's okay. It's good for the investment. But uh, join us again. We're going to do another uh, fun wheel spin of um, which game to play next this evening on our Sunday fun day. And if we get Stardew Valley, then I guess we'll continue our little playthrough that we got going on now. is a pine cone to get a field snack the next day but let's check our weather report for tomorrow in game clear and sunny so we're gonna have to waste some energy doing that which is totally fine oh let's see can we interact with this and see what's going on okay no just a decorative mic which we could probably sell but i don't know i like the the vibe so far yep go to sleep for the night let's see if we got any achievements Well, uh, we went up two levels in fishing, which is always great. Uh, if you're watching live on Twitch, thanks for watching. This was Sky Streams on our Sunday Fun Day random wheel uh, for games. And um, you can see these uh, edited in full videos on YouTube at Supreme Scotty, as well as my playlist of international music. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's Sunday Fun Day. Uh, go play some video games, enjoy, and play some Stardew Valley.
take care. And if you're on YouTube, please consider liking and subscribing.